Good morning. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for joining me this morning. Just as we get everybody in here, we're going to do some upper body today. So a little mixture of everything, kind of covering the whole upper body as well as lots of core, um, getting lots of stabilizing muscles in there as well. Um, so what you need today, if you have it, is grab some dumbbells. And then this is optional, but if you have it, grab one of these bands. So if you have one of those, grab it. If not, I'm going to show you variations with just weights or with also body weight. All right. So weights, a band, and let's get ourselves warmed up. All right. Let's start with some shoulder rolls. So rolling these shoulders forward, getting lots of rotation in here, lots of movement. Pulling those shoulders forward. And rolling back. Awesome. Getting those whole arms in there into those full circles, circling towards the front here. Getting lots of range of motion. And going towards the back. Awesome. And cross. Switching which hand ends up on top. Just getting range again. Awesome. So stepping into a nice wide stance here. Your arms are straight out and you're just going side to side, just rotating that upper body, getting lots of rotation in your spine and that torso, back and forth. Keep going there. Awesome. Stepping a little wider into that sumo stance, you're gonna squat down into your sumo stance and just making S's with your arms, giving a nice reach. Doesn't have to be super fast. Awesome, and stand yourself up. All right, we're gonna add in what's called a bear crawl. So you're gonna go down onto your mat, getting onto all fours, and you're gonna stand yourself up onto your toes. So your knees are above the ground. They're not actually on the ground. So you're just hovering above, and you're just gonna walk yourself forward and walk yourself back. Keeping your spine nice and neutral and knees hovering on the ground. Bracing that core. Awesome. Whenever you're ready, going into your tall plank position. All right, so moving into that tall plank. Hips are nice and square to the ground and just reaching out, rotating that arm up. And the other arm. So back and forth. One more per side here. Awesome, going down onto those hands and knees. Gonna bring in some bird dogs. So you're going on all fours. And one at a time, you're gonna have your right arm and left leg stretching straight out, keeping that spine straight. Bring them all the way down. And into that left arm, right leg. And down. Keeping your hips and your shoulders square to the ground. Neutral spine, so you're not bending your lower back. Back and forth here. Need one more per side here. Awesome. Whenever you're ready, stand yourself back up. You're going to start into to a light jog. Start that light jog, slowly starting to bring that heart rate up. I'm gonna move into either a step jack or a jumping jack, whichever one you like, in three, two, one, go. 
really reaching out, getting everything warmed up here. Three, two, one, back to that jog. All right, we're gonna finish off here with some burpees. You're gonna do your basic burpee, and at the top of your burpee when you stand up, you're gonna hop to the side and do a burpee again, all right? Here we go, first burpee down here, go. Get up, hop over, burpee again. Two more. And back to that jog. Awesome. All right, you can jog on the spot, walk on the spot, whatever you like, and I'll explain what we're gonna do today. So, you're gonna have two different exercises. You're gonna have one that you're gonna do twice and one that you're gonna do once. So your set's going to look like this. It's gonna be 25 seconds, 30 seconds, 25 seconds. So for example, your first one is gonna be a press mixed with the pec deck. So you're grabbing those dumbbells, starting with your shoulders out here, doing a press up, coming down, rotating those dumbbells in, so your palms are facing you. Back up and around. All right, so keeping those dumbbells in your peripheral vision, pushing up, Rotate around and squeeze. So press and squeeze. All right, you're trying to bring those elbows almost together, stopping just shy of those weights hitting each other. Your second motion is gonna be an upright row. So again, keeping those dumbbells just in front of you, pulling straight up. Imagine trying to squeeze the top of your shoulders. All right, pulling up, just grazing the front of your body. And your third motion is gonna go back to those press and pec deck. So press into that squeeze. So 25 seconds of the press, 30 seconds of the uprights, 25 seconds of the press. All right, it's gonna be a quick switch. There'll be a 30, or three seconds between each set just to get yourself switched around. There we go. All right, so starting with that press and pack deck, Three, two, one, go. Pressing up, squeezing around. Keeping that back neutral. If you start to bend your lower back, drop one foot back to keep yourself steady. Three, two, one, rest. All right, going back into that upright row. And go. Spine stays nice and tall, just grazing along the front of your body here. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, coming back in for those presses, 25 seconds. Dumbbells are up, and go. Really press towards the ceiling, squeeze towards your, the front of the chest. Three, two, one, rest. All right, 15 seconds here if you wanna grab some water and then we'll do it again. All right, here we go, starting with those presses again and go. They start to get heavy and you start to bow your back. You can just do the presses or you can also drop your weights. Three, two, one, rest. All right, going back into those uprights. Here we go and go. Keeping that chest up, spine is tall.
Almost there. Three, two, one, rest. All right, last one of these uh, shoulder press. Here we go. And go. Keeping those dumbbells in your peripheral, even with that press, because they're not going too far back. Three, two, one, rest. Awesome. All right, grab some water, and we're gonna switch over. And this is where you're gonna need your band. So for the first motion, you need dumbbells. For the second one, or sorry, no, the first motion, you just need body weight. We're gonna do a mixture of a push-up and a walk-in. So you're gonna do your push-up. You can do it from your knees or your toes. Hands are nice and wide. Doing your full push-up, push yourself up, tap your hands into the middle, tap them out. So push up, tap in, tap out. All right, you can go from your knees or your toes, whatever you like. You can also do this against the wall if you'd rather. And then you're gonna hop up. Your second motion is where you're gonna need that band if you have it. So you're gonna put that band around your wrist, palms are together, just like this. Reaching out to the sky. You can do this from your knees if you want to stay more on the floor. You're reaching straight out, pulling those elbows back. So you're trying to pull something from the sky. Your elbows should drop and sit right beside your hips. All right, so pulling down, squeezing those shoulder blades together, and you're pushing out with your hands on that band. So that resistance, you should push out while you're coming down. So squeezing down and in, straight up. All right, if you don't have a band, can do this just with body weight. You're just standing straight, squeeze down and really focus on that squeeze, or you can put a dumbbell between your hands. All right, and then back down for those push-ups with the tap-ins. All right, so push-ups with the taps, pull down for that high row, and then back for some more push-ups. There we go. So starting with those push-ups, three, two, one, go. Brace your core that whole time through those push-ups. And a rest. All right, grab that band. Go into that high row. And go. Really squeeze at the bottom, squeeze those shoulder blades together, rowing down towards your belly button. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, going back to those push-ups. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, rest. All right, you got 15 seconds here. Grab some water. Shake those arms out a little bit. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, push up, go. Three, two, one, rest. All right, go into those high rows. Grab that band or do body weight. Go. Five, four, three, two, and rest. 
All right, drop that band. We'll ask John to push ups here. Three, two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice work. All right, grab some water. You can stand yourself up. We're going to move into some rows. So you can grab dumbbells. You're going to do a combination of a wide and a narrow row. So for this one, if you want to try using a little heavier weights if you have them, go for it. The back muscles are a little bigger, so they can handle a little bit more usually. So you're going to start with a wide row, rowing wide rowing narrow all right so keeping yourself in that bent over position knees are soft hips are back and your spine is neutral so you're reaching down rowing back and rowing narrow even on your high row your elbows should end up below your shoulders so make sure your arms aren't up here just bring them back all right so those dumbbells should end up right beside your chest so nice high row here low row right to the hips high row to the chest low row to the hips. So rotating back and forth between the high and the low. Your second motion, you can either do band or dumbbell, because you're gonna do a steering wheel. So I'm gonna grab it between my thumbs. You can also grab it like this, whatever you want. You're gonna reach it straight out in front of you, and you're gonna pretend like you're driving a steering wheel, like there's a bus driving all over the road, all right? So it's a little crazy driving, but back and forth, keeping those arms nice and tight, You'll start to feel that rotation in your shoulder and you get a nice burn all across the shoulders here. All right, so you can grab that or you can grab a dumbbell. Again, same thing, palms on either side of that dumbbell, back and forth. All right, drawing that circle, keeping yourself nice and high and try and hold as much of that 30 seconds as you can. And then you come back for that high and low row. All right, so alternating rows into the steering wheel and then alternating rows again. Here we go. Wide and narrow rows, go. Squeezing the shoulder blades together in both motions here. Again, keeping those elbows low enough, they're not going above your shoulders. Three, two, one, rest. All right, going for those steering wheels. Straight out, go. Draw that circle. Keeping the weight or the band straight in front of your face. Brace those arms the whole time. 10 more seconds. If you have that band, you're kind of pulling that part of, band, part of the band with your arms. And rest. All right, grab those weights. Wide and narrow rows. Go. Making sure those weights stop right beside your chest and right beside your hips. Three, two, one, rest. All right, grab some water if you need to. For those rows, keeping those arms a little lower engages all those back muscles. If you're bringing those arms high for those rows, you're starting to bring in traps. It can cause a lot of tension in the muscles up here. All right, here we go. Start with those rows again. Go. Wide and narrow. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, going in for steering wheels here. Band or weight straight out ahead of you and go.
10 more seconds, you're almost there. Keep driving, avoiding all those potholes. Three, two, one, rest. All right, grabbing those weights, last round of those wide and narrow rows here. And go. Keep those shoulders pressed down, so it's just your back that's moving. Almost there. Three, two, one, rest. Nice work. All right, grab some water. We got our last set here. So you're gonna move into some curls mixed with some triceps here. So your first motion is gonna be an alternating curl. So you can grab those dumbbells. You're gonna do your basic curl up, twist the rotation of those dumbbells into a hammer curl. All right, so a little closer. Curling up, palms out. Rotate them in and do a hammer curl. So back and forth between palms up and then palms facing each other. So back and forth using all different parts of that bicep. So that's your first motion. Your second motion is gonna be a tricep overhead extension. So you can do this with both dumbbells if you want. Arms are up, keep your legs soft. I actually set my feet a little bit wider here so I have a nice strong base. And all you're doing is dropping your forearms at your elbows. So the rest of you shouldn't be moving. Should just be from your elbows to your fingertips, pushing that weight to the ceiling. All right, if this gets a little heavy, if your weights are a little heavier, you can also do a single dumbbell, so you're grabbing it between your palms. Same thing, straight up, dropping back and pushing towards the ceiling. All right, so you're trying to push up with those weights, trying to engage the back of your arms. All right, and then back into those alternating curls. All right, so curls and extensions, and then we'll switch things up here. Here we go. Starting with those alternating curls, go. So palms up, palms in. Really imagine squeezing those bicep muscles together. Squeeze it like it's a little squishy ball. Three, two, one, rest. All right, getting those dumbbells up and over your head. Palms are facing in. If you have two weights, go. Push towards the ceiling. You can also do a variation of this with a band if you'd rather, which can just be looped around your hands, same as we've been doing before, and pushing towards the ceiling. Three. Two, one, rest. All right, back for those curls. And go. Almost there, five, four, three, two, and rest. 15 seconds here, grab some water if you need to, shake those arms out. Here we go, three, two, one, curl. Three, two, one, rest. All right, ready for those extensions? I'm gonna do the band if you wanna see it. Loop it around and go. I'm gonna keep those elbows nice and tight beside your head. Your arms are just dropping back. Again, if you start to bow your lower back, drop a foot back. Get a nice steady stance. Three, two, one, rest. All right, grab those dumbbells, last round of curls here. And go.
five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice work. All right, grab some water. We're going to shift into a little bit more cardio focus again. Get a little blast of cardio here before we move into our core work. So your first exercise is going to be some toe taps. So nothing fancy here. You're just reaching out in front of you with your toes, hopping back and forth. All right. If you don't want the jump, you can just do standing. Keep a good pace and keep your body steady. All right. So back and forth, hopping on those toes. All right. Your second motion down onto your mat is going to be a plank up down. So you're going to be in your plank position. You can go from your knees or your toes, starting at your high plank, drop to the elbows, up to the hands. Drop to the elbows, up to the hands. Again, you can go from your toes or your knees, whatever works for you. All right, so back and forth. Third motion, you're gonna hop up and do your skater jumps. So those are your curtsy lunges, that little bit of a hop between reaching to that opposite foot. So back and forth with that reach in there. All right. You don't want to do the jump. You can just do curtsy lunges. Same thing, reaching down to that opposite foot. Your fourth motion, a squat jack. So you're squatting down, jacking out. Squatting down, hop out. All right. So if you don't want the hop, you can just stepping out from here. Squatting into a step jack. And your fifth motion is going to be a mountain climber mixed with a bear crawl. So very mountain-esque. All right. So you're going to do mountain climbers, two with each leg. So you're out into your mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. Walk yourself over. One, two, three, four. Walk yourself over. That walking position, you should be in your tall plank. So you're going to be going from your mountain climber. One, two, three, four. Tall plank. Walk to the side. One, two, three, four. Walk to the side. If you only have room for one step, that's fine. If you have room for two, go for it. All right? 25 seconds of each, three seconds break. We'll do the whole thing twice. Here we go. Starting with those toe taps. Go. Keep that pace nice and high. Three, two, one, rest. All right, down onto your mat. Going for those plank up downs. Go. Trying to keep your hips as square as you can to the ground. You're keeping your body steady. Ten more seconds. Three, two. One, rest. Hop yourself up, going into skater jump. Go. Three, two, one, rest. All right, going into squat jacks and go. Keep going, you're doing awesome, almost there. Three, two, one, rest. All right, down for those mountain climbers. And go. One, two, three, four. Walk yourself over. Three, two, one. Rest. Awesome. 20 seconds here. Grab some water. Here we go, five, four, three, into the toe taps, go. Three, two, 
One, rest. Time for those planks. Here we go. Up, downs, and go. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Hop yourself up, going into skaters. Go. Three, two, one, rest. All right, squat, squat jacks. Here we go. Go. Three, two, one, rest. All right, mountain climbers, last one. And go. Three, two, one, rest. Ooh, nice work. Grab some water, move on to your mat. All right, here we go. So we're starting into some side planks here. So you'll be going on to one of your sides. Start on my right. So your first round is just gonna be basic side plank. So your elbow stays stacked under your shoulder. Hip goes up. You're either on your knees here, one foot out, or right from both feet. So whatever variation you wanna do, do 25 second hold, five seconds to switch, to switch to the other side. The second time around, we're gonna add a reach under. So you're up on your side, arm is straight out, reaching under that body, doing kind of a side crunch, and up. All right, reach around, squeeze under. All right, so you're using those oblique muscles to keep yourself steady, and then using those ab muscles to cross over and crunch, all right? So first round is just the crunch, or just the side plank. Second round, we'll add those reach hunters. All right, here we go. So up on your side, three, two, one, go. I will stay stacked underneath your shoulder. Brace those core muscles, keep yourself steady. Keep yourself breathing. You can put your arms straight up or on your side, wherever you want it to be. Three, two, one, and rest. Flip to the other side and go. Again, keeping an eye on this arm if this arm is drifting too far up. Start to feel pain in your shoulder. So you want to protect your shoulder and keep that arm directly under you. Three, two, one, rest. Flip to the other side. Up on that side with the reach under. Go. Really focus on crunching the muscles together on the way down. Three, two, one, rest. Other side. And go. Really try to feel it in the side oblique there. Three. 
three, two, one, rest. Awesome. All right, we're gonna move into some basic planks again. So onto your stomachs and do your basic plank. Again, starting with your basic plank hold. So coming into your plank position, tuck that tailbone in, tilt your hips in. So you're keeping your, your abs engaged that entire time. Your second time, you're just gonna add a little bit of a tap out. So you're going tapping out with those feet. Again, keeping your hips tucked under, tip, tuck that pelvis in, really engage that core and keep yourself steady that all that's moving is those legs side to side. All right, so basic plank into those tap outs, back and forth, all right? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. You can go from your toes or your knees here, whatever is best for you. Elbows underneath your shoulders. Tuck that pelvis in and keep yourself nice and tight here. Engage that core. Three, two, one, rest. All right, coming up into those foot taps, go. Five, four, three, two, rest. All right, going back into your basic plank here. Go. If you need to, you can drop to your knees if you're starting on your toes. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, three more seconds, and then that last round of the toe tap. Go. Ten. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. All right, you can flip yourself onto your back. We're gonna do some heel touches here. So you're starting on your back. Heels are planted on the ground. So we're gonna go into your half crunch position. So your upper body is going to crunch up, reaching down towards those heels, and you're just reaching back and forth between each heel. So keeping your upper body in that crunch position, so you're constantly engaging those core muscles to hold yourself steady. Try to keep your neck relaxed. All the tension should be right here. All right, so pulling your lower back into the ground, crunching forward, reach for those heels. Back and forth. All right, your second motion, bringing your feet up. Same thing, reaching for the side of your feet. Bringing your upper body into that crunch position, engaging your core. All right, so last round here, heel touches and toe touches. Three, two, one, go. Brace that core, try and feel it through those abs. Really trying to build those foundational muscles here. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, feet are straight up, go. Reaching to the opposite outside of that foot. Three, two, one, and rest. Heels on the ground, go into the heel touches again. And go. You start to not feel it in your abs, just slow it down and really focus on squeezing those muscles. Three, two, 
one, rest. All right, feet are up in the air one last time here. And go. Almost there. Three, two, one, rest. Nice work. All right, stretch out, arms right above your head, feet are straight out, get a nice tall stretch here. Nice big deep breath. Whenever you're ready, you're gonna roll yourself over onto your stomach and get into your child's pose. So bringing those feet together a little bit at the back, sink those hips back into that stretch, reaching forward. Really open up those fingers, stretch the fingertips out and push into the mat. Try and get a good stretch through your upper back. Again, nice long deep breaths here. Really try and sink into that stretch. Bring yourself up onto all fours here. Taking your left hand, threading through that hole to your right side. Palm is down on that ground and lean away from that hand. Should feel that through the back of the shoulders, into the upper back. And relax. Same thing with the other side. Right hand going towards the left, leaning your body away towards the right. Really push into that ground with that palm. Awesome. All right, stand yourselves up. Bringing that arm across, starting with your right arm, across to the left. Same arm behind your head. If you want to get a little stretch, lean a little bit, stretch out those obliques a little. And relax, starting with the left arm, straight across. And reaching up behind your head. Same thing if you want a little extra stretch, just a really gentle lean here. Awesome, and come on back. All right, grabbing those palms behind you, interlace your fingers, palms are facing you. And just reach out, stretch open that chest. Awesome, and same thing with the front. Palms together, or fingers together, palms out. Stretch it out as far as you can in front of you. And relax. All right, nice wide stance here. Nice big stretch up and let everything fall to the ground. Try and relax your neck and your arms, your back, everything. If you want a little deeper stretch, grab behind the ankles, give a little pull. And slowly bring yourself up. Awesome. Finish off with some neck here, just dropping the side of your neck to your right side. Should feel a nice tension through the side of the neck here. And slowly just drop your chin to the ground. And relax, coming back to the middle, dropping to the other side. and dropping your chin.
and relax. Awesome. Let's finish off with just some shoulders here, rolling those shoulders back. And forward. Awesome. I'm going to finish my stretching here, but if you want to keep going, feel free. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. Um, for those of you Nexus members watching, Nexus is opening officially today at 10 a.m. So if you want to go to the gym and check that out. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. We do plan to keep these classes online for the next, next week for sure. We are doing free for everybody. So this is still free for everybody. And then we'll get information out to you guys um, in the next week or so about what it's going to look like going forward but we will still be doing live and still be doing recording. So we'll still keep you guys going even from home. All right. Have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday and I will see you guys on Friday.